Well, perhaps the most prominent former Michigan athlete to accuse Dr. Robert Anderson of abuse met today with Attorney General Dana Nessel. John Vaughn, who played football from 1988 to 1991, has publicly told his story, which took a more sinister turn than most. And it's left Vaughn and some other players with a very uncomfortable question for the university. John Vaughn grew up near St. Louis, Florissant, Missouri, to be exact. His senior football season at McClure High School was incredible, but his mother was only able to make it to one game. She was fighting breast cancer. The next year, he'd go to Michigan with his mom's cancer battle fresh in his mind, and Dr. Robert Anderson exploited it. There were tears, there was frustration, there was confusion, there was pain, there was anger. In addition to the unnecessary rectal and genital exams, Anderson made Vaughn believe he needed sperm samples to check for a cancer-causing gene. I'm thankful my mom's not here because it would break her heart because I wouldn't, my mother wasn't going to let me go to any college without her being the final say. So it would break her heart that she would have to know what happened at Michigan. In the middle of sorting out and reliving all of this trauma from 30 years ago, Vaughn and some other players are now wondering what happened to those sperm samples. And that's crossed your mind. It's definitely have. crossed my mind because I have four samples that I have no idea what happened to the chain of custody. Vaughn heard Anderson make strange comments about breeding perfect athletes. And then there's this, a 1971 ad in the Michigan Daily about Anderson's sex and marriage class, and a 1975 article on another program run by Anderson asking for semen donations for artificial insemination. One of the questions that I would ask the University of Michigan today is, how many children out there that you help create without any of our knowing? And they need to answer those questions. So what does Vaughn want from his alma mater? Well, to start, he thinks Michigan should apologize to every survivor personally. You have to take responsibility for what will be the greatest sexual abuse and rape atrocity on U.S. soil by one man since slavery. This will go down as the greatest atrocity of abuse in the history of sports. So if you want to step up about the wins, you have to step up about your lose, losses and they have to take full accountability. I did reach out to Michigan about the specific questions posed by Vaughn in this story and we got this statement. We offer sympathy to all of the victims of the late Dr. Robert Anderson. We thank them for their bravery in coming forward. We again apologize for the pain they have suffered and we remain committed to resolving their claims through the court guided confidential mediation process that is ongoing. The university is committed to continuous improvement in our policies and practices to promote student health and safety. And a lot of that statement we've heard before from the University of Michigan throughout this process. And yeah. we had that meeting with the AG today. How did that go? We don't know the exact conversation, but he did tell me it was very positive and he has a lot of hope going forward to get some answers about these questions. So we'll see where it goes. You'll stay on top of it, yeah. I know. All right, thank you, Jason.